Good morning, everybody. It is Trucker Girl Kiana, and as you can see, uh, as requested, I am doing a backing video. I know it's like the worst camera angle ever, but um, this is the one I decided to do today. Maybe next time I will shoot the video from the front, but considering how tight this location is, I thought you guys might appreciate uh, me showing you how much I struggled to get it in um, So yeah, this this place is tight and all of the spots that were available to park trailers in are all like this so um, I Didn't have much choice other than just kind of pick one and go with it So we picked one and we went with it and so um, yeah ultimately You'll see that I decided to go ahead and once I was kind of in the space, um, to give myself a little bit of uh, error room, I slid the tandems all the way to the front so that I would have the ability to make mistakes without uh, hitting the trailer on either side. As you can see, I'm, I realized I got very close there, so I pulled up and whatnot. Um, and you'll see that I get out and look like, I don't know, no less than 10 times. Um, this video full length took about 25 minutes, 22, 25, somewhere around that area. Um, because I did get out and look a lot and make sure that I was safe and everything. So that was all that was. And uh, yeah, uh, I was very nervous backing into this place but hey we made it we didn't hit anything and uh, we're gonna pick up our loaded trailer in just a second okay see look like I guess the camera camera angle makes it a little bit hard to see but I did not hit anything at any one point in time so you see you should be able to tell because I had to walk through there so um, I'm like really, really close, but I'm not, not hitting anything. And then I'm looking to see what my angle is so I can figure out, okay, my tires are pointed this way. It's going to keep pushing me this way, which is what I want, but is it going to take me too far? So that was, that was all that I was doing as I was looking at it. I was figuring, okay, how is this going to move? And... How is this movement going to affect the final um, placement of the trailer? So look, that was that scared me when I got out and looked. I was I was pretty scared. I was like, mm, I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> but I didn't hit anything. So um, yes, the doors are open because I saw the other trailer doors open. Nobody told me what to do, so I just kind of. I, I saw other trailers and I was like, okay, well, I guess that's what I'm supposed to do. Yes, sir. We're going to get rolling in just a minute. I promise. I got to verify the seal though. I got to verify that the seal matches the paperwork seal and that the paperwork matches the, the, the dispatch, you know, and that everything matches everything. So yeah, I, I am verifying everything while I'm talking to you guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm not ignoring anybody or anything, although my dog clearly seems to think so. She thinks I'm ignoring her. Let's see. We have 195 pieces and, wait, excuse you? That was rude, Sarah. She just slapped her butt up against the door. Like, excuse me, you're not paying enough attention to me. Anyway, pounds. And done. And we can send in the depart call while we're getting uh, loaded, because I'll still be on duty. So, that is no problem. Alright, so we need to go find our trailer. Go hook up to that. Yeah. So, yeah! This place is not forgiving. Alright, we're gonna back up a little bit. 
Oh, it looks like I finally slid the tandems, which is my saving grace here, is that I slid the tandems. Because that made my life so much better. Just, like, I didn't want to slide the tandems before because it's so, like, there's not enough room that I was like, uh, I don't think that's going to help me. A new message has been received from dispatch. Oh, and then we, ha we have to go fuel up ahead. in Barstow. Turn left on Goodman Way. Uh, cause that's our fuel point. I got a quarter tank. And then, uh, then we will hit the road. Hit the road, Jack. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And then you'll see that I tried to, um, once I finally got in the hole, I tried to slide the tandems back to the front, uh, while I was, you know, in the spot. But then I realized, you know, that's just too tight and the tandems are kind of stuck, so that's just not gonna work. And uh, yeah, so we nixed that plan, and um, we went with a different plan of pull forward and uh, figure it out from there, kind of a deal. All right, so where is this trailer? There's the trailer I dropped off. This is a CFI right here. It is going to be the CFI I'm looking for, I believe. I was looking at the number. That is the one I am looking for. And the doors are open, so I have to close them when I pull forward. How far are the tandems back? Tandems are pretty far back. No, they're pretty far forward. Okay, cool. They look like they're in the California setting. Um, which, by the way, I did slide the tandems back because I figured it would be courteous to the yard dog or whoever um, was moving it to move it. And yes, I realized I got very, very close to that one trailer. I promise you, I did not hit it. I just got really close. It just got really, really, really close. But yeah, I didn't hit it. <laughs> and I got close to it on purpose. A new message has been received, received from dispatch. dispatch. That would be my fuel and route, guys. That would be my fuel and route. The first one was the one saying, hey, we understand that you picked up our load. And then the second one is like, hey, here's your fuel route. I should have three fuel stops, if I'm correct. All right, let's go put that down. Not quite even under it. And I'm gonna stop, because I think this is a high hook. Whoops, don't drop that. No, 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 no. All right, come with me. Let's go find out, is this a high hook or not? But you don't know. You can't see. But that's besides the point. But I'm going to put a picture at the end of how it looks. Um, the trailer that I dropped. Great. Not a high hook. Okay, cool. Move. 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 Out of my way. Alright, cool. Yeah, yeah. There we go. So, finally sliding the tandems forward. Okay, let's see. We are already at the location around McNally. Can we apply for an entire trip loaded? And... Alright, that is... 1,500 miles. Add stop. Travel centers. TA and Barstow. At Esvia as next stop. That is 76 miles. Alright, and we're putting 73 gallons. Alright, so, anyways... Um, the whole reason we're going to Joplin is I asked to be a part of this year's in-house truck driving rodeo and because I used to compete in the school bus rodeo all the time so I really wanted the opportunity to uh, do it in the truck. Um, I did compete in the uh, rodeo that Prime had when I was there uh, and that was quite fun so I figured having the ability to do that again um, but this time at CFI would be a great experience so that's what we did and uh, it was gonna be a pain in the butt to get out because cranking the landing gear up like this when it's so hard to reach is uh, kind of a pain in the butt but it is what it is you work with what you have and uh, so, at any rate, sorry, my 
thing got cut off. But yeah, we're going to go to Joplin for the truck rodeo. Um, the top 10, I believe, will have the opportunity to compete in national rodeo uh, next year in June. So I would really love that opportunity and uh, I'm going to try. So we'll see how that goes. And yeah, uh, most of the rest of this video is just me cranking the landing gear down um, and unhooking the glad hands and then slowly pulling forward and then waddling my way back between two trailers to get back here to pick up my phone to give you guys a thumbs up and say that woohoo we did it we didn't hit anything we did it we did it <laughs> but anyways I just uh, picked the landing gear up on this one just enough that I could pull forward uh, far enough that I could actually crank the rest of the landing gear without having to squeeze my butt between uh, Two trailers and try and do that. So as you can see I just started walking back And you should see me give you the thumbs up in just a moment. There we go You guys have a good one